I get the respect thing. I, I think that treating people with respect should just be part of what we do in life. And I'm not always great at it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I call people names all the time on these airwaves. But in a traditional setting, I think that if you've listened to the show, you know, if I have somebody on the show, we book a guest. The last thing I want to do is try to gotcha them into saying something crazy so that I can get clicks and we can get attention because they've given me the respect of coming on this show by carving out their time, and I don't want to blindside them. It doesn't mean that I don't try to ask good pointed questions and try to be tough sometimes when I think that it's necessary, but it it does not mean I'm going to dig up something that I know is going to get you angry just so that you get angry and I can use it for clicks. I try not to be that guy. And I think in news conferences, you know, respect is, is important. I think, you know, feeling as though there's a mutual respect. How do you get respect? You give it. So what Rick is saying there, and he's also soft peddling this a bit in a big way. Like he's not shaming anybody. He's only politely asking that you do this. It does not seem like a reason to get mad. Like when I saw all my media brethren just getting so mad and just bows and arrows and grenades at Rick Carl, I'm like, I think we don't have to go that hot on this. I disagree with Rick, but I get the sentiment. And here's why I disagree. I don't think you have to call a coach, coach and last name because he's not your coach. (laughs) If you're the player, yeah. You want to call Coach Saban, Coach Saban, or Coach Sweeney, Coach Sweeney, what have you. I don't think Nick Saban expects me to call him coach because he's not my coach. Now, you may hear me often call coaches coach something. I oftentimes do that on the show. It's more as a way to be familiar and friendly more than it is a way to be deferential. You know, I I think it's it's fine. It's like if somebody calls me DA versus Damon. I mean, I I either one's fine. I don't think Nick Saban says you better call me coach instead of Nick. I think he probably accepts like most reasonable human beings that you don't always have to call somebody by their career title. I mean Is it okay to call a lieutenant in the police force Tom? Or do you have to say Lieutenant Tom or Lieutenant Johnson? I mean, you know, I think it's okay to call somebody by their first name because that is their first name. I think, hey, Saban or hi, Saban, I think that's weird because you don't just call somebody you're unfamiliar with by their last name. 